hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is arsalan and today we are on day 6 of building the problem solving skills with the help of python if you are very new to this playlist let me give you a very brief introduction of what this playlist is all about in this playlist we have been solving we have been building logic based on python so we will be just building the logic with the help of python we started from a very basic question on day 1 and then we have been just increasing the difficulty level day by day so please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that we you can get the updates from the channel before i start with this tutorial please do so now let's see what the question is asking from the uh, from us and we will be just start building our logic on day 6 so uh, the question says write a function that takes a string as input and returns the longest word a word in the string what we have to do here is we have to take we have to take what we have to take the function and we have to check for the longest word in the string so let's see the longest word in the string is jumps so jumps has five letters in it so that's why it is the longest word however you can also uh, check for quick brown or jumps all will be uh, valid so even if you write quick write quick it will be valid it will be valid so we have to check for only one even if you write quick brown or jump all are valid answer so uh, you can just return any of the values which is which uh, whichever you find it suitable according to your answer now what we will be doing here is first of all we have to create a function that will be taking input as a string and then we have to create a logic inside that function to get the longest word inside the string so just let's create a function function and to write a function in python we use def and and then we write the name of the function let's say we are writing the longest longest word in the string longest word we can just write longest word and then we will be closing it by parenthesis and inside those parenthesis we will be taking the name of the string you are going to pass as an argument so let's say it's my str is the name of the string we are passing as an argument and we will be just ending this function by a colon and putting a enter and automatically this indentation will come so so what we will be doing here is we will be start building a logic so before that i, I will just returning this my str for it will be a temporary uh, value that will be returning to check the check that whether our program is working fine or not so let's print this function first of all longest word and just i will be just copying this whole input from the above and then just printing it down here and then run the code to check whether the code is running successfully or not so as we can see that the code is running successfully now we can just uh, easily apply the logic without any concern now what i am going to do here is i am going to append all the values inside my list so i will be creating a i will be creating a, a temporary list i am creating this list this is my list in this list to uh, get all the items all the words from the string so this list will be taking all the strings all the words from the string so the string here is this and and we will be just pushing we will be just appending all of these values inside my temp list and then we will be just uh, pushing uh, just checking for the words that are that is having the highest uh, length now what i am going to do here is i will be just changing uh, my str into a list my str into a list and uh, to do that i will be using a str uh, split function my str dot split and i will be separating it by a space and 
I have already told you that if I write split, which means that we are converting this string into the form of a list. We are converting list, uh, sorry, string into list. So converting list into string. All right. So we are converting list into string and we are separating them with the help of one is with the use of one space. So single space we are using. And if I return my str, return my str and show it to you that inside my str, I will be getting uh, the quick brown fox over the lazy dog. Each individual word separated by a comma, as you can see we are getting each individual word inside my str so i will be running this code uh, each individual time so that we can just visualize in it in a better way and you can see that what we are getting we are getting this value in my str so this is the thing we will be getting this is the thing we will be getting after we return this my str so hope you have understood this now what we will be doing here is we will be appending all of these values all of these values inside my temp so to do this i will be first of all iterating my i my str so i will be seeing that for word in my str for word in my str temp dot append word all right now temp will be having all the words let me show it to you that if i return temp it will be having all the words inside this so you can see that it is just having all the words which was uh, str having so both of them having the same words now my logic here would be i will be checking for the word with the longest length all right so i am not just gonna append the word here i am just gonna append the word which will be having the length as the maximum value all right what i am gonna append i am gonna append which will be having the longest length so i am gonna check whether the word will be having the longest length and for that i will be just applying another logic so i can check that uh, longest longest uh, longest length is equals to word uh, not word I will be writing a uh, max and temp and I can just show it to you that if I return longest length and run the code and show it to you simultaneously that we are getting the T H E the so longest length uh, max temp let's see uh, longest length okay so what i did here is i haven't taken the length of the word i will be appending not word i will be instead i will be just appending the length of each individual word why because i can use the max function to check the longest length of the words all right so the moment i will be running this code now i should get the 5 as the value as the longest length of any word so the 5 is the longest length of any word inside my uh, temporary list which i have created so what i did here is what i am doing here is let me show it to you that i will be i am checking for the longest length of any word inside my inside temp list so i'm checking uh, sorry in at uh, inside length of inside any inside my str my str list so i'm checking in inside my str that if uh, it uh, the longest length of any word so so I am checking for the longest length of any word inside my list and this should come uh, not here it will be coming here and it will be not my str sorry it will be a uh, temp list and I am checking for the longest length of any word inside template list so 
what I am doing, what I am checking the longest length of the word uh, inside my templates and this part what I am checking, I am just checking the length. I am using the length function and appending the length of the words inside the my str my str list so hope you have understood this first of all what i am doing i am just checking the length uh, length of each individual word and appending the length of each individual inside my list let's see if i just return if i just uh, return my attempt you will be seeing that i will be getting the length of the words inside my list see i am getting the length of each individual word inside my template so i can just put it up after this separation of comma and i will be getting these lengths as my list but i do not require these lists what i am required i the required i required the maximum length uh, the word has so right now if i run this i am getting the maximum length right i am getting the maximum length of any word but I do not require the length, I require the word, word with the maximum length. What I require, I require the maximum length, I, oh, sorry, word of the length. So I do not want this. What I want, I want the word with the maximum length. So for that, what I can do here is, I can simply check, uh, again run the loop and i will be iterating in my str again so i will be checking for a word in my str again running the loop and right now i will be checking something else i will be checking that if if uh, len of word is equals to longest length then return that word this will be giving me the answer see it's giving me quick so quick has the uh, longest length if i just put double double k if i if i put double double k and triple k let's say and try to run this code it will be giving me qic double uh, triple k see i'm getting qic triple k and if i just remove all the k it should be giving me brown it should print me brown as my answer see it's giving me brown and uh, let me just explain it to you this last part what i'm doing here is uh, first of all see we have this value we have this longest length as, as a value which is five for uh, for this set of string this this is string this is string the longest length is five longest uh longest length is equals to five for this okay this uh string this is string the longest length of any word is five it could be different for different let's just say we have another string as uh dog uh, let's say this is the next string we have and uh, the 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 longest length will be dog so it will be three so it will be printing me three value here so second one will be having three so similarly it will be happening for a different string if you put so now we have created a, a an integer value here taking out the maximum length of any word the list the, the, the temporary list has so the temporary any the, the, this is a temporary list first uh, for first uh, printed value which we have first str we have and this is the character length we have now we are using the max function to fetch the maximum length so the maximum length here is 5 so that's why that's why it was returning 5 and then it was 3 for the second so what we are doing we have created this integer value now we are iterating it in a loop we are iterating a loop we have created a loop and in this loop we are checking that the length of word if the length of any words the length of words will be three five five three five five this this will be length of the word 
it will be same because they are uh, my str is still the same so this these will be the length these will be the length and these length will be first of all iterating three will be checking so three will be checking comparing with five so it is still five is greater than then comes five so five will be equal to five so it will be remaining five then it will be five again then then it will be not changing then if it's then it then it's three then it will again be not changed because uh, because see uh, it will be just uh, satisfying me with this value that is five is equals to five so it will be not running further because it is satisfied five is equals to five it is satisfied so it will be returning me word here so it will be not running further it will be just ending the loop if it if it it would have four here let's say for example if it would be having four here for example and this is the four value here uh, so for example it has four length here so it will be again uh, not I uh, not exiting the loop on the second iteration on third iteration it will be checking 5 is equals to 5 so 4 is greater than 5 and then it will be just in on third iteration it will be ending the loop and we will be return value as the word which is the brown so brown will be written as the answer and doc will be written as the answer for the second uh, printed string so see we are getting the values as we were expecting so this is the question which we have to do and hope you have enjoyed this question if you have any doubt left you can just ask me in the ask me in the comment section thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time